still there. Oh, Bubby. Ah, don't you, don't you do it. Milton, Milton, sit. Good boy, you must be hungry. Good bo okay, okay, bud. Okay guys, first of all, can we talk about how distraught I am that it's 928 instead of 828? You guys, spring forward hit me like a ton of bricks. Comment down below, did you know this was happening? And if you did, I'd take personal offense because someone should have told me. Like, I am woefully unprepared and now it's just late and like, I don't know what to do with myself. Also, I know you might be thinking like, Autumn, it's like 9.30 in the morning. Like, why do you have like a full face of makeup? Well, actually, I went to a concert yesterday with my friend and I got home at midnight and I was so tired that I just went to sleep with this makeup on. I was like, I don't even have the energy to take it off. But then I woke up and I was like, oh, wait a minute. This still looks kind of okay. And seeing as I knew I was gonna be filming all day, I was like, you know what? Let's put this bad boy to use. So my makeup's on fleek, but like I'm still pissed off that it's an hour later than it should be. No gym today because aforementioned late night, like I just wasn't feeling it. And then also I participated in the Rhodes City Run, which is a 10K event here in Louisville, um, preparing for the Kentucky Derby. It's, a, it's the second leg of the Triple Crown of Running. So two weeks ago I did a 5K, Yesterday I did a 10K. In two weeks, I'll be doing a 10 miler. So coming off of my 10K yesterday, everything hurts. And like every time I get up, I make a horrible noise. Like, oh God! And that's gonna be my life for the next few days. And I was like, you know what? I could skip a Sunday. And then also, I went to Meyer yesterday on the way home because I knew I wasn't gonna feel like it today. So guys, like I have nowhere to be right now. Like I can start meal prep right now and I'm pumped. But before I do that, I mean, I still gotta have my zip fizz. Like, even if I'm not going to the gym, I need a pick-me-up this morning, and fruit punch will do the job. Oh yeah, yes. All right, guys, I gotta shake that extra hour away. It's gone, it's not coming back. In three, two, one. Where I get better at that every week. <laughs> Bottoms up. As you saw, I got the roast in the crock pot. I was just in the mood. It tastes so good. And I was just like, why am I trying to like think of random things to eat when I already know that there's stuff that I love so much. Right now I'm headed out to Sam's Club because there are a few things that I need to get for the shop and for myself. And I wanna do it and get back home before you know it gets too crazy. Uh, and so I'm headed out there. I think in addition to the roast, I'm gonna make some sort of cheesy cauliflower type dish. I'm just doing bacon, eggs, and sausage again. Like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Like, I love food on this diet so much and I'm just gonna eat it. So let's see what Sam's is hollering about and then I wanna get back home. It's a hard knock life, I tell you. Yeah, deep sigh, Milton, deep sigh. Hi, Tinky. 
Hi, Tinky Bowie. Oh, Yanni. You're like the musical artist, Yanni. to the shop for a little bit and now I'm back eating really my first meal of the day which is three eggs and a tablespoon of butter some bacon of course there was more bacon than this but for now there's only three pieces the roast still has a couple more hours and then I have already set out my pint of enlightened like I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a weekend tradition until I get sick of it but like no carbs all the carbs like I don't care like I'm so excited about this so it's already set out, so I'm going to eat this, watch some TV, eat my ice cream, and then once the roast is done, I'll be back to wrap up meal prep. Okay guys, so I am done meal prepping for the day, so let's show you what I got. Okay, first of all, we have the Mississippi pot roast that just will not quit. Oh my gosh, it is everything I want. Speaking of that, you guys, this whole collie mac and cheese concoction that I just whipped up, is so good as you can see I kind of took a little bit out of the corner right there just to test it and it is so cheesy and spicy and all I did was just boil some cauliflower in chicken broth and I put some cheese and you saw I put those red pepper flakes on there so I mean it was just so good for breakfast I have my scrambled eggs I have bacon and I have sausage like this combo has been doing so well for me lately uh, and then for snacks I have jello I have Atkins bars oh my gosh guys and you saw I melted down that keto brick today so turned into these little bricklets uh, and I'm so excited and I just want to thank Dawn for sending me um, the keto bricks in the mail you guys she sent me the keto bricks to my PO box and I'm just so grateful she wrote me the most awesome card I'm gonna go ahead and put my PO box address down here right now if you want to see it like if you send me something, just thank you so much. That means so much to me. Um, but this is what I have. And then also I'm gonna have some Powerade and some ice drinks. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, and the occasional product review. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks and I'll see you next week.